Aplastic anemia is a bone marrow disorder, characterized by reduction in the production of blood cells, like red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. Talking about the prevalence, aplastic anemia is a rare blood disorder which affects 2 to 6 people per 1 million individuals per year. This disease can affect people of any age, but common in young adults and old age people. The exact cause of aplastic anemia is unknown, but it can be acquired or inherited. Some known causes include exposure to certain toxins and medications, radiation therapy, certain viral infections, autoimmune diseases and different genetic conditions. Symptoms of aplastic anemia may vary depending on severity of bone marrow failure and degree of blood cells deficiency. Common symptoms include fatigue and weakness, shortness of breath, abnormal paleness or lack of color in the skin, frequent infections due to low white blood cells, and easy bruising. Risk factors of aplastic anemia include exposure to toxic chemicals, treatment with high-dose radiation or chemotherapy for cancer, history of viral infections and autoimmune disorders, certain genetic conditions, and family history of bone marrow disorders. Diagnosis of aplastic anemia involves blood tests and bone marrow biopsy to assess the levels of blood cells and functioning of bone marrow. Key tests may include complete blood count test with differential, immature red blood cells count, and bone marrow biopsy. In the end, let's talk about treatment and management of aplastic anemia. Management of aplastic anemia is directed at the underlying causes. Treatment of aplastic anemia aims to restore blood cell production, alleviate symptoms, and prevent complications. Common treatment approaches include blood transfusion to replace deficient blood cells and alleviate symptoms of anemia, infections, and bleeding. Immunosuppressive therapy can also be used to suppress the activity of immune cells, which are damaging the bone marrow. Lastly, in severe cases, or when other treatment options fail, a stem cell transplant from a suitable donor may be considered to replace dysfunctional bone marrow with healthy stem cells. That's it for today's video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. You can get this presentation from MediHelp app, it's available for download on both the Google Play Store and Apple App Store. Happy learning, thank you.